go to File, New, Template A4 to select the page you're going to work on, OK. Then you get your folder with all your work in it and on your desktop and you select the picture that you want to work from and drag and drop and press convert if you need to. Then you'll need to scale the picture by pressing shift S or there we go and then stretch it to the size you want to work on it. Now it's not fitting the page so I'm going to have to rotate the canvas image, transform, rotate and now I'm going to just rotate the image because I want to work on it landscape. So click on, click on the rotate icon and then just pull it around the edge and press enter. Now I'm going to use the threshold to make a more extreme contrast and you can play around with the settings on threshold to see what sort of level of contrast you'd like to use. OK. Then you're going to select a background image so go to your folder and select an image that you might have prepared beforehand. I'm going to use a colourful background to contrast with the black and white uh, settings on the first image. drag and drop it onto the collage that you're going to be making. Then it's shift S to change the scale and drag the handles to the size that you want to have it and press enter or the scale. Now I'm going to try seeing what it looks like with different l modes in the levels palette so just changing the mode blending the two pictures together I'm also going to experiment with swapping them around to see if it makes any difference having the picture of the face on top or, or the bottom and you can use the arrow keys in the layers palette to change the order of your layers. Once you've found uh, an effect that you like, the you like the um, look of, then. Uh, you can use it but at the moment I'm going to now try um, looking for invert I'm not sure that I like the effect that I've just created so I'm going to go for difference but I can see that's in negative so I'm going to go to I'm going to um, colors I think it is and then invert that's there it is and it gets me back to where I wanted to be. So I quite like that that effect on my collage. But I think I'd like the face a little bit bigger, so I'm just going to make it larger. So don't worry if it changes once you press scale. 
it will go back to the effect that you originally had once you've pressed enter. So that's quite nice, maybe a little bit bigger, tiny bit bigger, so you can see it. There we go. So all I think I'm going to add a drawing to this collage now, a sketch to add some um, other sorts of detail. So I'm just going to get a drawing from the folder that I've been collecting images. And I'm going to drag it and drop it onto the collage that I'm making. So I have to press convert. And it's too big, so I think I'm going to have to resize it. That's shift and then S to change the scale. I'm going to experiment to see what the different effects are without cutting it out in the layers palette. And that one makes it a bit too confusing. But I'm just going to rotate it and see what it looks like at a different angle. Yeah, I think it breaks the image up a bit too much. I'm going to make it a bit smaller, I think, or turn it upside down. You can see when you do press scale, it sort of reverts back to the original um, picture before you put the effect from the layers palette onto it. And then once you put it into position, it goes back to the effect that you've selected in uh, mode in the, the layers palette. And I don't like that effect. It's breaking it up too much. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to go with the uh, overlay, I think that is. which is much simpler effect. It, it removes all the white, so it's just as if I've cut it out. I quite like the effect of it looking like it's coming out of the top of the head, so it's not, it's not breaking up the image too much, and it's linking onto the darker tones in the rest of the image. And I've just made a copy of it, and I'm pulling it down just to balance a bit of drawing in the bottom left hand corner. I think I'm going to rotate it. Clicking and dragging it. Shift R is the rotate shortcut. And now it, it looks like it's coming out of the truck, not breaking up the truck too much and then finishing off the collage. So all you need really are three layers. So I've got a background layer, a, a human identity layer, and I've added some drawing to it as well. Now to save your work, you go to File, Export As, change the name to whatever you want it to be. and then go select file at the bottom, choose JPEG and export the folder. There, it's finished.